Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warrior Cats, The Untold Tales. <gasps> There's a squirrel, let's get it. Oh, sorry, Renfeather, you didn't get that squirrel. Oh, but welcome back to The Untold Tales. And we are here with Renfeather of ThunderClan, who so many of you have fallen in love with over the last few days. Oh, we stepped on a branch. Sorry, Renfeather. She's not very good at hunting in the trees. So that, that's kind of a drawback when you're kind of a ThunderClan cat. So Renfeather here has had quite the adventurous few days and we just stepped on yet another branch. Gosh darn. All right, let's scoot her this way. A little bit more of an open area. Maybe we'll have more luck finding some prey over here. But she has had a very adventurous few days, and I cannot thank you guys enough for your amazing support on Untold Tales. As long as you guys are so adamantly watching it and liking it and loving it, then of course we will continue on with our stories. And I would really love to see where Renfeather goes now. In the beginning, this was all just an experiment to kind of see. Oh, dang it, Renfeather! I'm sorry. I am just ruining things for you. Who's this? Hello? Hello? There's another cat right here. I just kind of, okay. Are you wandering away? All right, there was a mysterious cat. There was a mysterious cat who we could hardly see peering at us from between the grasses. I wonder where they ran off to. Hmm, well, let's do a little bit of hunting for a second because Renfeather is really hungry and we're really, really low on reputation. So this isn't good. Oh, thank goodness. All right, come on. And, oh, dang it. All right, let's see if we can use her special skill. All right, there should be some prey over here. And got it. Oh, thank goodness. Hopefully we'll be able to carry this prey back because she desperately needs to eat. Oh, there's another mouse. We really, really, really need it. Oh, thank goodness. All right. So let's hurry back over to ThunderClan away from Sunning Rock so we don't end up getting... Oh, and there's some uh, apples that we can give our beloved Wild Nose, who is Renfeather's new mate. All right. Oh, a shiny thing. Oh my goodness. No, it's mine! Scarheart is coming for the shiny thing, and we snagged it first. So, a fight with one of the Shadow Clan cats over a shiny thing. That was very exciting. Let's go ahead and get Renfeather back home. In fact, we'll let her sprint. Because I think, oh, there's a fight going on, but I think we're just going to run along the bushes because she's so hungry. She won't be very effective at fighting if she's starving to death. All right, and we'll get back home. Awesome. We have a new shiny thing. We can add it to our pile of, of shiny things, our pile of treasure. Oh, and let's hurry and drop these off really quickly and come over to Frost Willow and ask for some food. Oh, thank goodness. All right, Renfeather finally managed to get a drink and let's take back the treasures that she found into her little nest that we have here in the brambles. She's really been enjoying collecting up things and keeping them inside of the brambles here. She's quite an interesting cat and she's very curious. And when we first started playing with Renfeather, I really didn't think this was going to be anything more than just a quick experiment, then we'd move on. But you guys actually are as in love with this series as you are with the Sims 3 Warrior Cat series. So I will be very happy to work with you and to see your amazing fan art and fan fiction that you're leaving in the comments. It just blows my mind. So of course we will work together and we will see where Rinfeather's story will go. And lately I've been thinking I would love to take her story. Uh, you know, of course, having a little bit of romance with Wild Nose. Let's talk to our mate today. I love you, Rinfeather. You're the best. Oh, that's so nice. Let's go ahead and give him an apple, even though it's not a very good gift. I just feel like that's what that they bond over. So let's go ahead and give him another apple. Wonderful. Oh, he's so adorable. And then maybe we'll come over and let's gather up one of our little, our golden rods. And let's give him a golden rod because that sounds adorable. There we go. So Renfeather is starting to share her small little pile of treasures with her potential mate. Well, she, he is technically her mate. They just don't have any kits or anything yet, so I feel like they're still like just kind of in the early dating stages. But you guys have come up with so many stories to make these simple little lives that are right here on our screen into something so much more complex and beautiful, just like you did with our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series, which is still continuing. I just need a little bit of time uh, moving into the new year to be able to sort out all of the random generators and all of the other things and make it simpler on myself and faster to be able to produce for you. So don't worry, the Sims 3 Warrior Cat series will still come and seeing your comments about it the cats that you love in our sims 3 series seeing your ideas for the sims 3 series is helping me so much with getting the motivation back it really 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 burns me out to make those on a creative level and try to produce them as fast as i do so i just wanted to explain that and the way you guys are leaving fan art i am drowning in rinfeather and wild nose fan art right now but your support on this series is helping me prepare for the sims 3 series and i want to make it as 
as popular and I want to make it as beloved and I want to make it as frequently as we are making this one. So let's see, almost time to nap. That's why we're dragging our paws over here. I'm waiting to nap. Mouse fur and frog fur are right over here. Uh, they don't really seem to warm up to us and we have uh, apparently broken Quick Heart's, Rinfeather, what's up? Quick Heart's heart. A lot of you guys were very upset that we actually did not take Quick Heart as Rinfeather's mate. But most of you, I think, agreed with me that Wild Nose seems to fit best. So good morning, Wild Nose. I love you, Rinfeather. You're the best. All right. Well, that's still adorable. I think that Rinfeather is kind of amused, so she's going to go ahead and give him another one of her goldenrod plants. Finally starting to share her special items, ones that weren't asked for by any of the cats as quest, but just her special little item pile with a wild nose there. And what I think I would really love to do with Rinfeather is maybe make her into a mentor. So that may be something we'll end up doing. Let's see, do we get, can we get anything else from Maple Stripe? Nothing that I really want to activate just yet, so we'll save our experience points. But I want to see about making Renfeather a mentor. We're going to continue to give gifts to Wild Nose, and apparently the more gifts we give to him, the sooner we may have kits of our own. But I think that it would be really fun to have a little trainee that could follow us around and we could take care of. But maybe we need some more resource. I, I just feel like we need more reputation before we can get a, a little kit like that. So let's see. All right, one second. All right, so the bonus shop. Becoming a mentor costs two bonus coins. We only have one bonus coin so far. And then there's a whole bunch of different coats. Now I've heard if we change our coat color, then it will actually make a whole new cat and you'll have to start over. Is that true? I would love to know if that's true or not, but I think making Renfeather a mentor would be a really great step for her. So what do you guys think about that? I also think it would be really good for her because it will give her something else to focus on other than the fact that she continually gets into fights with and ends up killing some of the the River Clan cats. And I think River Clan, especially Stream Lily, who appears to have become the deputy of River Clan, has a deep hatred for Renfeather now. I think that they kind of um Stream Lily at least, being the one who lost her sister to Renfeather's attacks, really has a, a viciousness towards Thunder clan now. So I think that there's a lot of hostility between Thunder Clan and River Clan because of Rinfeather's actions. And a lot of you guys have noticed that Rinfeather seems to be responsible for the death of a lot of cats with, a, with Lily in their name because she did end up accidentally killing a oh there's a bunny. Let's get it. 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 Oh, we got it. Yes. All right. Hunting in Wind Clan territory, but you know what? It's not next to their camp or anything. But yeah, a lot of you guys have noticed that Rinfeather seems to accidentally kill the cat's name Lily pretty often so maybe she has something out against the lilies I'm not sure darn it got away is there anything else here nope nothing else here okay so we'll go ahead and move to the next area what about over here I think she likes these open plains like it's a little bit easier to kind of see what you're going for oh and the bunny got away and hopefully this time we won't run into any of the, we won't run into any of the terrifying two legs who then run in front of a car. It was so funny to see how many of you guys were just as shocked as I was when that two leg female ran in front of a car and got hit by a car. I don't know what kind of drama we witnessed, but it was pretty traumatizing if you ask me. But let's try to get lots and lots of, can I find any more bunnies? Lots and lots of prey today. I want to get another bonus coin for Renfeather so that she can start having more options and what, ooh, where, where are we? Is this Wind Clan camp? Did I really get this close? <gasps> I don't think we want to be this close. I think that that, whoops, a daisy. I think we got way closer than we meant to because we were so busy with our hunt. All right, can I get that squirrel? Wonderful. I guess we'll have to, uh, we'll go ahead and drop the golden rod. Little does Rinfeather know that that may give a pretty good hint to Wind Clan that there was a Thunder Clan cat in the area since golden rod only grows in Thunder Clan. All right, and we'll slowly creep our way over towards River Clan territory because we do need some comfrey too. And I think Renfeather is beginning to become a little bit hostile to River Clan. She was sorry and she didn't mean to kill Stream Lily's sister way back when, but it happened. And the fact that they are wild cats and sometimes the bottles get carried away, it just happens. And to be so pursued so consistently and so hated, look, there's the only piece of comfrey I think we've seen in a long time. So we need to go and get that one piece of comfrey. 
But I think she knows the Comfrey's there, and it's in RiverClan territory, and she's tired of being hated by RiverClan. She's tired of being attacked by them, so she's going to start standing her ground. So let's send Renfeather down there. Whoa, run for it. All right, was that Goldenrod? I think it was. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that's the Comfrey. Oh, and we're really thirsty, but we're going to try to make this work. All right, need to line up at the cliffs just right. All right, we're really, really thirsty, though, so let's see if we can get... There we go, some moss, and we'll go ahead and drink it. And I think Renfeather is going to have her own little private raid onto RiverClan territory to snag that comfrey. Like I said, she's done. Whoa! Whoa! Silk Lily! Silk Lily saw us! Run for it! Silk Lily really, really hates us. <laughs> like, a little bit of hate isn't even the right phrase. She really hates us. We'll bury that apple and keep moving. And I think that would have just made Renfeather angry enough to keep moving. Because she is so tired of being so immensely hated by River Clan and not able to get anything done. Can we get over there? Darn, I don't know. Oh my gosh! Whoa! That's what we get for trying to get the Comfrey. I think we may have to just go and tell a whole clan battle breaking out on us like that. We may have to go tell Snowheart or whoever it is who's our medicine clan cat that this is, oh wait, 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 wait. <gasps> she figured it out. Oh, finally. All right, we snuck into River Clan territory. I wonder, and we got the comfrey, finally. That is something we've had as a quest for so long. And we'll walk along the river banks. And I feel like Renfeather feels a little bit justified because she's like, finally, I am not gonna let, she's not gonna let River Clan control her forever. In fact, she might even sneak around here. Is there any food over here? You know, I wonder if the River Clan cats can fish. That would be kind of interesting. All right, any food over here? Oh, there's another bunny. Can I get it, can I get it? Oh, we got it, yes, all right. So we've got two bunnies and the comfrey, and whoa, it's Thunder Clan! Oh, they they came for us! They came for us at the last second, you guys! Just as I thought we were gonna keep moving. All right, Blue Lily, let's get Blue Lily out of here. Oh, there we go. We won! We won the battle! So we got pounced by River Clan on our way back from stealing the comfrey. They were going to let us try it. Blue Lily and Water Lily are both here, but nobody died, thank goodness. Birch Fur and Branch Claw were here from our clan to help us out. So it looks like what happened is they waited for us to start getting back into Thunder Clan territory and then lunged. So they wanted to make a statement, I think. Renfeather is deeply hated by River Clan. And what I would really like to do, especially if you guys are interested in this idea, is actually start playing as a River Clan cat. In particular, Stream Lily. I would love to start playing as Stream Lily, and I think she would have it out for Renfeather and all of Thunder Clan. So, what do you guys think about that? Rotating between two cats where we can play as Stream Lily and see what life inside of River Clan can be like, and kind of building up from there. So, all right, Snowheart, I finally have this comfrey. Take it. There we go. Reputation, building, fantastic. More reputation, more reputation. Yes! And Pooey, now I need to have less reputation because I need to eat. <laughs> Alright, Snowheart, what do you need? Tell me it's comfrey. Let's see, four leaves here, two roots there. Oh, hello there. I'm sorry. I can be so absent-minded at times. Where was I? Ah, uh, yes, perhaps you can help me. I uh, need some herbs. A goldenrod! Yes, I meant to say goldenrod, not comfrey, because we've got plenty of goldenrod. We're growing it right inside the camp, which I really love doing, actually. Oh, sweet. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to snag this reputation point, alrighty, and we may get a uh, apprentice of our own. I'm kind of excited about that, actually. All right, let's go ahead and drop this goldenrod plant, and then, oh, is it past sleep time? Oh, thank goodness, we have sleep time, which will let us heal a little bit. All right, so it's early morning. And Renfeather has been able to escape. That was amazing, though. I can't wait. To, the fanfics you guys are posting in the comments are seriously one of my favorite things of the last few days. So Renfeather managed to survive infiltrating River Clan territory. She's becoming a stronger and older warrior as well. And in coming back, the River Clan cats tried to pounce her to show a point to kind of send a message to Thunder Clan as she snuck back into Thunder Clan territory. Which really, Rinfeather shouldn't have been over there, but she was getting herbs to take care of one of the sick cats. So maybe, maybe her actions could be excused for that reason. And then, you guys, I think that, um, I think that that battle went pretty interestingly. So we did manage to win that battle. 
I would love if somebody could keep track of all of the random cats that we have in the different clans because that would be really fun and then I could maybe start adding them in to The Sims 3. Oh, which reminds me, I'm going to have a very, very, very special special when Runfeather and Wild Nose start having kits. There's going to be a super duper duper special little short episode popping up to celebrate that. So just keep your eyes out for that whenever they do. Wild Nose, you aren't planning on having kits today. No, he just brought us, he brought us a dead rabbit. How nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and we'll share another one of our little comfrey plants with them because he's being sweet. And maybe one of these rocks. I think, I think Rinfeather will pick up one of these rocks because she just had such a fantastic battle with River Clan yesterday. And I like how she's beginning to develop a bit of a backbone. She's not going to let River Clan push her around forever. All right. She is still pretty wounded today though. So quick heart, how are you doing today? Hey, what's up? All right, and Mouse First still says hello. And I really think Quickheart got his name because he is exceptionally flirty, you guys. He flirts with all of the cats. So it's probably a good thing that Rinfeather actually didn't get her hopes up about him. I think that he's kind of a player Tom, if you ask me. All right, can we go ahead and get a bit of a drink? And there we go. Snowheart, what do you need next? Let's see, Goldenrod, oh my gosh. We're gonna build up more reputation. I'm so excited. So I wonder, Hmm, should we go ahead and get our apprentice now, Snowheart? Some of the warriors just returned from a fight, a comfrey plant again. Hmm, we'll have to look into that. And let me come up here and shine fur. All right, shine fur. I think Renfeather is, is ready to come in and pluck up one of these little ones and, and make them her own apprentice. I think she's about ready for that. What do you think, shine fur? All right, we wanna go find some feathers. So I think we'll try to complete that last quest with uh, Rin Feather, we have two bonus coins now. So let's go see if we can find some feathers. And we'll say we're bringing the feather to our little apprentice. And I hope you can have an apprentice and kits at the same time in this series, or else I think I'm going to have a lot of very angry people on, on me, because, whoops, okay, careful there, Rin Feather. I should have probably crossed Thunderpath a little more carefully than that. Uh, or else I'm, I may have a lot of very annoyed people if we aren't able to have a kit because I got an apprentice. But hey, I think that's a good a good step for Ren Feather before motherhood, <laughs> before she ends up in the nursery. Oh, look at that. It's another one of the herbs. Let's go grab this. All right, we got a horsetail plant. Wonderful. And I think she's pretty happy to, to gather that up and take it. Whoa, whoa, how about no? How about no to the nope? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys get off Thunderpath. Are you kooky? Okay, so Wind Clan. Uh-oh, Wind Clan's still coming for us. Run for it, run for it, run for it. No, there's a lily involved. We always kill the lilies. I don't want to kill more lilies. Oh my gosh. All right, I think Rin Feather got a little bit startled. She's just running and running and running and running. I just wanted a feather. I just wanted a feather so she'd be ready to be, like, have her own little apprentice. That's all I wanted. Um, oh dear, that's, that's definitely their camp. Oh my. All right, let's get away from that section. All right, where are we? Uh-oh, her natural curiosity is taking over. Let's see, anything over here? Nope, man, even though it's so open and there's just so much here. In fact, where is... I think everybody keeps telling me to like come up here and then we should find, we should find the path up to, oh, to Mother Mouth. <gasps> this is the path to Mother Mouth. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. You guys, this is Mother Mouth. Oh my goodness. I can't believe. Rinfeather, Rinfeather, what should we do here? Okay, let's go inside. <gasps> this is so cool. Rinfeather, what do you think? The Moonstone Starclan rewards you with fresh kill. <gasps> There's so much fresh kill. I think you're allowed to come here once, um, once a a like a season, once a season, and that's so cool. Okay, you guys, we just visited Mothermouth, and we just ended up. Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this the barn? <gasps> Are there rats and things inside that we could hunt? Oh, Rinfeather. There's so many things that could make her so curious. I think, oh, run for it. Cliffclaw is chasing us. All right, we've been spotted. Is that a Wind Clan cat in a Shadow Clan cat territory? Or is that Shadow Clan symbol? I thought that was Wind Clan symbol. Are we on to something? Are they invading when they're not supposed to? All right, we've got, we've got some, oh, there's some more of that comfrey. Let's grab that really quick, or the horsetail plant. I wish it was comfrey. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. So yeah, Renfeather has managed to go on quite the adventure today. So she has traveled all the way up to the mother mouth. I think she's ready to either become a mother herself. Oh, oh, oh. 
watch for the cars and dash across. I think she's either ready to become a mother herself or she is ready to go ahead and have an apprentice of her own. So we may work on that. She's still hated by River Clan and she's watching as something interesting. It seems like Wind Clan and Shadow Clan are fighting a lot. I feel like Wind Clan may be up to something and River Clan's hostility is just 100% focused on Thunder Clan right now. They really, really, really seem to hate Thunder Clan. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Hmm. Hmm. All right. And we're going to go ahead and drop off our golden rods over here because I like having a little golden rod flower field. And let's drop off two of our rabbits, but then give one rabbit to you at Wild Nose because it is a gift from the Moonstone itself. So Wild Nose, there you go. A wonderful, wonderful rabbit. So they still seem to be having a great time together. And then we'll come down and we'll drop off the horsetail kind of at the very back because I think she'd be a little bit nervous that some of the other cats will start noticing that she's been traveling so far away from clan territory. But all right, Renfeather's adventures are getting very, very interesting in huge part because of your guys' fan fiction and your guys' amazing fan art. The fan fiction you can see in the comments, and it's so fun to see people start role playing as the cats that are inside of these clans. I can't wait to use all of this as a springboard for inspiration to continue on with our original clans in our Sims 3 series and hopefully produce them a lot faster. I'm learning from being able to do these episodes so quickly that what you guys really want to see is frequency of warrior cats rather than me making maybe spending six hours trying to edit the lines to be 100% perfect. So we'll strike a balance between both of those things. And for now, to celebrate the fact that we're working so hard together and you guys have been so amazingly supportive of this series, we will have another episode in just a few minutes. So hang tight, everybody. We're going to do double episodes for the next few days if I can keep up with it, because I want to say thank you so much for making Warrior Cats come to life and filling me with so much excitement that I think we'll be able to dive into season two of our Sims 3 series no problem. And let me know what you guys think. Should Rinfeather be a mother first or should she potentially be a mentor first? Should she go ahead and continue her adventures with ThunderClan and maybe find a home here? Or do you think she may be tempted away by a rogue or a kitty pet? Should she become a rogue of her own and then just focus on gathering up all of these little treasures? Or do you think we should jump over and we should try playing as Stream Lily in RiverClan and seeing if we can bring revenge and vengeance down on ThunderClan heads. So let me know what you guys think and I will see you in just a few minutes here for another episode of Warrior Cats The Untold Tales.